It's the RAF's tribute to the brave aviators of World War II. Formed in 1957, the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, or BBMF, is comprised of 12 very special aircraft. And for the past 40 years, RAF Coningsby has been their home. Wing Commander Stu Smiley is one of BBMF's newest pilots. Having started flying with them just two months ago, Armed Forces Day will be his biggest event so far. I'm feeling fine. When you're in the air, really you don't pay too much attention to what's going on on the ground. Obviously the first and uh, most foremost priority is to fly the aircraft, operate them safely and display these fantastic pieces of history uh, to the public so they can really appreciate uh, the Battle of Britain aircraft that we have. And what are these old aircraft like to fly in comparison to what you've flown before? Uh, fighter jets are an interesting breed. They're not that difficult to fly, and I must quantify that. They're not easy to fly compared to the Battle of Britain aircraft. Where fighters are very difficult to do is operate the, the weapon system and do all the role that goes with that. These aeroplanes, the challenge is learning to fly them. Safely tucked away in a hangar at Coningsby, the BBMF is made up of six Spitfires, a Lancaster, Dakota, two Hurricanes and two Chipmunks. One of the first challenges for BBMF's new pilots is converting from today's tricycle-style landing gear to the tail drag design of the old planes. They learn first on the chipmunks before moving on to the hurricane, which Wing Commander Smiley will be flying on Saturday. Officer commanding of the whole operation is squadron leader Andy Milliken, who gave me a quick hurricane tour. Well, I mean, the hurricane's construction is uh, really, really quite uh, interesting in as much as the wing is metal and the front of the aeroplane is metal uh, and the structure that supports the tail is metal but actually the back of the aeroplane is really like a model aeroplane so if you put your hand very very gently on there just tap it it's like a drum isn't it yeah. so what you've got is metal supporting the tail plane through the middle of the, end, of the back of the aircraft then you've got wood which physically goes round to give the aircraft its form and then finally they put this dope canvas on if you look carefully you can see where it's been cut the same sort of scissors you use, your mum would use yeah, for doing scissors, dressmaking exactly that yeah very very skilled young Young ladies really making these aeroplanes, but nowadays it's, it's pretty much a dying art, so only one or two people in the country can do it. The other thing about the Hurricane as well is um, it's, it's a robust aeroplane and the undercarriage folds from in to out, so a Spitfire it's kind of a bit, bit more spindly, a bit more like a ballet dancer, whereas the Hurricane is more forgiving. So um, for the more cack-handed pilots, such as myself, then she's much more forgiving when you come in to land. Uh, the Hurricane uh, got more kills in the Battle of Britain, there were more of them, but in the World War II they made 14,000 or so of these aeroplanes and the Spitfire I went on to make about 22,000 and one of the main reasons for that was the wing. So the wing is quite thick okay and that limits your top speed the spitfire wing even though the airplanes a year younger in design the wing the sophistication behind the engineering for the wing was was greater and it's a thinner wing which means your top speed isn't limited so the hurricane didn't really get progressed much past uh, the sort of two, mark two uh, whereas the spitfire made it all the way up to the mark uh, mark 24. Cleethorpes is of course the main event this year, but to make sure everyone catches a glimpse of their beloved BBMF, the team have another 45 events to fly through that day. Ensuring all the aircraft are ready is no mean feat, and the highly specialised ground engineers are the only ones who know how to do it. Oh, I'm very lucky to be here. There's only a bank of uh, 30 engineers, so... Um, 20 of those are mechanical, which I am, so out of the whole of the RAF, I'm extremely fortunate to be here. Very, very lucky indeed. Well, we've always got a lot of work on. At the moment, we're in the unfortunate position where we've got the Dakota needing an engine change, the Lancaster with its fuel tank issues. At the moment, it's all hands on deck, trying to get those aircraft up in the air. All the modern jet stuff tends to be, if it's broken, you simply replace it, whereas we go into more depth and we fix the components because we can't just buy new ones. It's very hard not to feel a great sense of pride when you see one of these aeroplanes up. The sound alone is, is absolutely amazing and really the, the aircraft of the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, to me, they really symbolise what is great about this country. Um, so it kind of stirs you, I think, whenever you see these aeroplanes fly or when you hear them. It's really when you speak to people, not really when you're in the cockpit, do you really realise just how important it is to the British public that we do fly these aeroplanes. 100,000 people have died in the service of the Royal Air Force and 55,500 73 young volunteers died in Bomber Command. So it's absolutely vital that we continue to make the people of this country aware what an incredible sacrifice those young men voluntarily made such that we might be free today.